Hello, my name is Thomas Cherian. I am a liver specialist, uh, in a, more specifically a liver transplant surgeon. So, um, one of the things that always uh, troubles me is the cost of my own treatment. And I think, oh my gosh, if I needed a liver transplant, would I be able to afford a transplant? And I wanted to sort of try to explain to my patients as to why a liver transplant is so expensive. To be honest, I think the, the truth is, it is one of the biggest and most complex operations in the world. So, the more complex the operation, the higher the cost. And I'll give you some of the reasons why. The first is, take a, a serious operation. Like for example, a coronary bypass, what they call a cardiac bypass or heart bypass. On average, they would do, they would use about maybe 18, maybe 20 or 22 sutures. These are individual needles to stitch our joints and our vessels. In a standard liver transplant, we would use 250, 270 transplants. And many of these sutures individually cost anywhere between 1,000 to 1,600, sometimes 7,000 rupees. That's one reason, the complexity of the operation. The second thing is, when you have patients who are so sick, we need a lot of life-saving equipment around them. So in a, in a liver transplant situation, there would be about seven or eight or maybe even 10 separate piece of missionary that is looking at a different component of liver disease. So each of these machines costs anywhere between 10 to 50 to 60 lakhs and therefore the investment that is necessary is quite high and that adds to the cost. A third reason is people who have a liver transplant need to stay in hospital for a long time. Therefore, many of them are in ICU for seven days, eight days, sometimes 10 days. And after coming out of ICU, often they're in hospital for 10 to 14 days. And as you know, every day the hospital increases the cost and that also adds to the total amount. Finally, nursing care is not cheap. Every patient who has a liver transplant with us at South Asian has one-to-one -one nursing. So with one patient, which is a recipient, and one donor, we have two nurses. Two nurses doing three shifts a day. That means we need about seven nurses every day for one liver transplant. And if they stay for 21 days, you can multiply the numbers. So I think that also adds to the cost. Finally, possibly the most expensive commodity is human skill and knowledge. So you take a, let's say another serious operation, like a gastrectomy, a stomach operation. There will be one senior surgeon, assistant, and maybe uh, uh, one more junior doctor. Maybe one anesthetist. Not maybe, they will need an anesthetist. Whereas if you take a liver transplant, there is the need for about six senior surgeons and about three junior surgeons. There is about six anesthetists involved in the care, about four critical care specialists, and about anywhere between 14 and 20 nurses, hepatologists, gastroenterologists, microbiologists, all of these people are highly trained and uh, are not available easily. And that cumulative experience is quite expensive. And that also adds to the cost. And finally, I guess infrastructure. I can't do a liver transplant in a small transplant theater. I can't do a liver transplant without a dedicated liver ICU. So at South Asian Liver Institute, we would only work in places where there is a beautiful, well-planned modular theater with high levels of antiseptic precautions and that is what has led us to have such a good outcome. So we started liver transplantation in Andhra Pradesh and even in our first 30 transplants there was only one death which brings our results 
on par with the best centers in the world. I worked in King's College in London for a long time and even in King's the outcomes were not better than that. So I think all of these factors is what increases the cost of a liver transplant and uh, even though we do our best to reduce the cost, unfortunately we are still stuck at very high numbers. So uh, what I try and do is increase awareness across the country in all diseases of the liver so that hopefully we can prevent patients reaching a stage where they need a transplant. For example, if I can stop fatty liver disease going from fibrosis stage 1 to 3 and bring it back to normal, or if I can stop somebody with viral hepatitis with good effective treatment, then those are ways that I am trying to decrease the burden of liver transplants in our country.